Here we have the collegiate debut of West Virginia's Ian Bush out of Cameron, West Virginia, 197 against Carson Brewer out of Avon, Indiana. Brewer, a guy who is head coach Joel Greenlee says is making games in the room by leaps and bounds. Bush, a two-time state champion at Cameron High School, 105 pins in his career, four-time state qualifier, two-time OVAC tournament champion. The Brewer with an early advantage here. Well, a nice shot and takedown. Just continue to stay on the leg and keep working it. And, and when you're talking about uh, Joe really saying that he's showed leaps and bounds, you can see that in that process, right? Just not panicking, just stay in, uh, stay in the course and just sort of tracking it down after a while. Coach Greenlee said they called Brewer a caveman in the wrestling room because he's got to figure out when to go and when to apply the brakes. <laughs> Me wrestle now, me not wrestle now. That, that, yeah, kind, of, that's a... that kind of caveman. The escape point for West Virginia. Big shot for Brewer, both hips pushing some trouble. Nice double leg, just blasts right through him. That looked like a football tackle, really. Pretty much, and he let his arms get out a little wide, probably. For, for his coach's uh, 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 enjoyment when they're watching film, but did a nice job of just getting in and powering through it and hit Cameron right in the, hit him right in the hips and, or excuse me, Bush right in the hips and just knocked him on his butt. Bush undefeated in his junior season. Pins in 26 of 27 of his wins that year. He capped that with Ohio Valley Athletic Conference Championship at the state championship at Cameron High School. So you see Brewer's inside, right? He's inside this on the near arm, and he's also inside on the far thigh. So he's able to control both on the front and the top and the bottom. And Bush hasn't really had a good way of countering that yet, which is really you got to get him out of the inside. You got to turn the hip a little bit. Now he's got an opportunity to go, but he waited a little bit too long, and it allowed Brewer to put both legs in, and now he's going to stretch him out and make him flat. I think he's learning now the speed of college wrestling versus high school wrestling, but that moment may be there to take the shot or to make that turn with your hips, but it's not going to be there for long. You don't get to think about stuff a whole heck of a lot, right? I mean, you, you have to react and do things, so it's, which is really what you're training, right? You're so, training so, so to basically, respond. Basically, that's why you need to be the caveman. Don't More think, just do. Just do, right. Don't think too, just react to things, make sure you're training those, those reactions and, and go after stuff. And that hesitancy, which is true in any sport, actually, well, not just in sports, in life, right? right? That hesitancy becomes problematic. Antonio offering Valentine's Day advice as that holiday approaches. <laughs> so 4-1 lead for Brewer through one period. And here's how he got on the board. There's that double, double hip. Good, nice double leg. A little low, picks his head up, drives it up through him, and knocks him down for a nice two-point takedown. He's been pretty dominant in the first period. We'll see... Bush has some chance on top to see whether he can uh, knock a little riding time off because there's a lot of it up there. But uh, that's going to be a big no. Yeah. <laughs> Escape for Brewer and Ohio's lead goes to 5-1. West Virginia has won seven of the nine, or six of the seven, excuse me. Or just seven of eight, there we go, split the difference. Seven of eight <laughs> here in this one. You're right, math no, is wrong. not really your no, strong suit. No, it's not, suggest. it's not. I was, I was wrong, it was six of eight. Six of eight. I promise him right that time. He won six of eight on the way to that 22 six team score. That's why I talk for a living. I'm surprised he let him in that class. They, they really try to get people out of that, that little finger lock like that, because there's really nothing you can do there. We were a 9-7 winner in Ohio's last one against Gardner-Webb. Here's where I was getting six of seven. They won six of seven upper weight classes against Gardner-Webb. There's the six of seven. And Brewer's win was a 9-7 win over Gardner-Webb. So what that tells me is that in Brewer, Ohio's got someone who keeps working, keeps trying to score, keeps trying to shoot. Well, it looks that way. He's done a nice job in this match so far. He's had two takedowns in the first period. Spent a good amount of time on top. 
Now, the issue is, again, with everybody else, again, just remember like, when we talked about Peyton Hall, like the challenge that you have when you start to lean forward and you get your legs straight like that, those are the things that, that keep you from being able to split scores a little bit more and, and, to, and, to, and to wrestle high-quality people to making sure that you can score some points there. We were doing a nice job with the defense, too, to not let Bush have the opportunity to take the shots. Well, I don't, and Bush has been content to stay sort of head, forehead to forehead. He's allowed, he's allowed Brewer to keep his, that collar tie right, right, right on your, on your neck and hold your neck in place. And now while you're doing that, you're blocking his shoulder. And in this particular case, so he did a nice job, Bush did it, like getting to the corner a little bit, but then he didn't really attack at the knee like he could have. Only about three seconds left at that time. He probably wouldn't have had time to finish, but. Bush wrestling in place of the injured Austin Cooley. He tweaked a foot and or ankle at Midlands and had to medical default out of that. He was two and one there, Cooley was. Well, and that one was the default, was the, was yeah. the medical default, right? So he was, wrestling, he was wrestling pretty well, and he's been wrestling very well all year. So Bush getting some run tonight because of that. Brewer getting coached from the stands. That is my favorite thing about sports is the coaching from the stands. <laughs> you know, because these the coaches, people, the these coaches, coaches just, they pay and they train all the time and they do all that stuff. They don't know what the heck they're doing. They come into your living room, they recruit <laughs> your kid, and then, and then they, they don't go know to school. Yeah, that's right. Well, I mean, Brewer's just being dominant. Um, Bush hasn't done much on the bottom. He's been sort of laying down there. Time has gone off. He's got uh, three and a half minutes of riding time. Brewer really taking away any leverage that Bush can try to find. But at the same time, I guess if you're over on the Ohio side, you're saying to Brewer, look, you got a guy that you're dominating, it's, but you're only up by four, but potentially yeah. going to five. You got to work on splitting that score a little bit more. You got to do some things that help you score some points and spread this out. If we were in a tight duel meet at this point in time, you're counting on extra points here, yeah, and you're not really getting it. Does that make any sense? They're going to get the riding time point, but if Brewer had been maybe a little bit more industrious, a major decision was in the offing today. Correct. That is absolutely correct. But and, and you can't wrestle that way, right? You gotta wrestle that you're attacking somebody the whole time and just being content to hang out in a four win by four or five points is good. Yeah. But you, you took a whole third period where you really could have advanced something. And what's gonna happen is, like anything else, when you get some real competitive matches and you gotta push all the way to the end, you haven't really trained yourself to do that. So Brewer's going to get just Ohio's third win tonight. And Ian Bush spent a lot of his first collegiate match on the mat.